Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am super excited for this video because I'm going to be chatting about all the new indie makeup releases in the past week or so and my personal thoughts on them and whether I'm interested in buying them. So this video series is inspired by Angelica Nikist and Samantha March, so I always have their channels linked down below as well as all the Instagram accounts that I use to get my information and everything like that. Well, first off, we have a few things to talk about from Love Lux Beauty and they are coming out with a new highlighter. It's limited edition and it is called Ice Crystal. This looks really, really beautiful. Um, it is already available for pre-order, so I'll have the link down below for y'all. I am kind of tempted to pick this up. I think it's a really pretty highlighter I think it's right up my alley it's my kind of shades and I do personally like their formula I feel like it's pretty intense blinding some of the shades that I've tried are a little little bit glittery so I can't speak to this one obviously because I all I can see is a picture but I would be wary of that I will definitely leave like the little swatch it doesn't look very glittery in the swatch it just looks super beautiful purpley blue shade so so I am definitely tempted to purchase that shade. I'll let y'all know how it goes in the future if I am able to make it through that temptation or not. So next um, is a little sneak peek from Touch of Glam Beauty. And they said that they are coming out with a whole new eyeshadow formula coming soon. And that this was just one little swipe you can see on their fingers. You can't see the color or anything. But I am always down for a metallic super intense eyeshadow like I feel like I'm at this point where when I get eyeshadows and they're just like a lackluster shimmer I'm like what am I supposed to do that would do with this because I have so many amazing metallic shadows that I would never ever go out of my way to pick up just like a regular shimmer maybe 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 that's not your style if you have textured eyelids or maturing eyelids I mean I still think I'd be like 80 years old rocking like a metallic blue eyeshadow look but I'm excited about it that's all I'm trying to say so next we have a little sneak peek from Clarity Cosmetics. This is their Lux Love in Pearls palette releasing November 2nd and it'll be $33. They're also going to be releasing their Autumn Love palette the same day but they have not released any pictures of that yet and that one is going to be $33 as well so I'm assuming it's also going to be an 8 pan palette. This is just a pass for me. Um, I saw swatches. It looks beautiful. I really want to try some of their eyeshadows but I feel like their palettes just don't speak to me. This is just I mean, I think a lot of people would like this. It's just a very basic neutral palette. Honestly, I think you could find almost all of these colors in the, um, like I have my Hidden Treasure palette from Dose of Colors. So every time I see a palette with these kind of tones, it's like the warm, the gold, the black, the raspberry. Like I always try to remember my Hidden Treasures palette has all of that and I don't even use it that often. So that's a pass for me. Next, I wanted to mention this. I never tried the original lipstick shade Hue from MAC, but I remember it being pretty popular. So this brand called Conjure Cosmetics um, is coming out with a lipstick. Well, it's available now, and it is called To Hue from Me, and it is a dupe for Hue from MAC, which was discontinued. So it's just a super, super light nude shade. I've never tried anything from this brand. I can't speak to the formula or anything like that. But I did want to mention it in case any of you guys are like diehard Hue fans and you're like, whoa, why did Hue like he leave my life? Then there is this option. It is $17, so it's basically the same price as a MAC lipstick. Just figured I would throw it out there. So next, Luxie Beauty came out with a little collection and it was called The Secret Six. And there are six eyeshadows and it's a very, very limited edition collection. And it was only going to be available for one week or until they ran out of stock. I don't know if there's still stock left or not. I really didn't even go on the website. I think some of these shadows are beautiful, but I just don't really like to buy limited edition products. And maybe these are amazing, and I saw like swatches and they looked pretty, but I feel like if there's something you come out with and you truly love it just so, so much, like if I was coming out with a product, I wouldn't want it to be like, oh, you could only get it for like seven days. Like I feel like if you have like this mentality like yeah this is a bomb product people are going to get get this they're going to want to other they're going to want to talk about it other people are going to want to buy it like i feel like if something's so limited edition like is it i don't know i'm not saying it's bad quality it's just not my cup of tea when it's that limited edition but i do think the shadows look really beautiful like the shade mean girl is definitely speaking to me it's just six um metallic shades and I do think Luxie Beauty metallic shades are really really good so 
I thought I'd throw it out there because it is still available when you guys are watching this video. Fingers crossed if the stock is not ran out yet. But like I said, it's supposed to be super limited edition. So I've mentioned that before that that's just like I'm kind of like over limited edition products at this point. But next we have the Unearthly palette from Alien Cosmetics. And I talked about this in the past when all they did was show like a computer generated image. And this is pretty. So this is a pretty palette and it is all neutrals with like fun pops and I think this is a pass for me definitely but I think if you like neutral palettes, you like nor like warmer neutrals, um, you could definitely get this palette and be happy with it because I feel like it does have some really fun pops. So I think this is nice. I think it looks pretty. So I think a lot of people could enjoy this palette. It's just not personally something I feel like I need in my life but like... The like really light purple shade and the, like orange and the yellows and the raspberry. I just, I like those kind of colors and I think that they're fun. So I don't hate it, but I just feel like I don't need it. Next, very interested in this. This is the Nabla Poison Garden Palette and hmm, I really, really hope this is like everything I want it to be like grungy, like dark purples, dark greens, like a secret, sorry, a poison garden. Like, I'm thinking, like, just deep, grungy, but still, like, the different vibrant tones. Like, I don't I don't even know how to explain it the way I see it in my head. But I'm really excited about this, and I really want to try something from Nabla. And I kind of con contemplated the, the Soul, Soul Blooming palette, but I ended up saying no to that. So I'm very, very curious to see what the inside of that is going to be. Next, this is really cool. This is from Stargo Cosmetics, and I'm definitely going to take the time to put a little screenshot on the page, so you guys, or on the video, sorry, so you guys can see the packaging. This is a new collaboration palette, and I don't know the colors, don't know anything, it's all black and white, but isn't the packaging on this palette so cool and unique? I feel like that is, I mean, I feel like it's hard to do things that haven't been done already, and that just looks really, really cool. I love, like, it just looks fun like just moving it around and I just think it looks really cool so props to them for being really creative and I'm definitely I definitely have my eyes open to see what that palette is going to be I'm hoping it's colors that I like um, I've never tried anything from Stargirl Cosmetics but that packaging though I think it's really cool alright so next we have a few sneak peeks and a full reveal from Makeup Geek so these shadows that I'm going to show you first, except for the really foiled goldish greeny one, all the other ones are from their reformulated, like rebrand coming 2019. Um, and then you can see all the matte shades. Those are all for the rebrand. They look really beautiful, very soft. I really want Makeup Geek to do well. I'm excited to see what they're going to come out with. So, And then I wanted to show you guys that Marlena showed on her um, IG story the Stroke of Midnight palette. So I took screenshots and it's not the absolute best quality. You can't see the palette 100% but you can kind of get a, a feel for the shades. So it looks like there's a warm brown, a cool brown, a light white um, duochrome, a red shade, a pinky foiled shade, a blue duochrome, a dark greeny olive, a green, and then a lighter shade that I can't really tell, maybe like a gold. So I feel like looking at this palette, I was definitely disappointed because I think this looks like every other palette that they already have. Maybe it's just a little bit washed out. Maybe it'll be more beautiful in like the professional pictures. And it does have some different foiled shadows in there. So I'm I'm a little, little bit curious, but at the same time, I feel like I just don't need it. And I believe that this palette is supposed to be all new shades, but they really don't look all that new. Like, I feel like I could actually go through and name Makeup Geek shadows that look like every single one of these off the top of my head. So, I don't know how I feel. You guys will have to let me know what you think. So, next, can't really give you too much to say on this, but OMFG Cosmetics is coming out with eyeshadow palettes, and they are coming out with six different versions six different palettes and they showed like the little inside of one so I'm very curious to see what the different six palettes are going to be I feel like with six palettes there's a high probability that there's going to be one that I like um so I'm curious about that and I just thought I would throw it in here really quickly although we don't know much until we see the shades next Besame Cosmetics is coming out with a Mermaid Lagoon collection 
and this is inspired by Mermaid Lagoon from Peter Pan and I have to say like I was I had a little moment oops jeeps I had a moment because I saw the best May like email about the lagoon whatever and I thought it was Blue Lagoon and I thought it was like Peter Pan and someone commented and they were like oh, I feel like this is so last minute like they just went like all on the mermaid theme and I'm like wait what like what do you mean because they didn't even have mermaid in the title and I like commented back and I sounded so stupid and then I looked back at the picture and I was like wait it says mermaid lagoon not blue lagoon I don't know what I was thinking but I agree like the mermaids in Peter Pan is such a small small little portion I feel like there's so much fun you could have done with Peter Pan and Neverland and I don't know I just feel like focusing on the mermaid is kind of lame but that being said um the, first of all the packaging on these like the highlighter and I'm not sure if it's a deeper highlighter or a bronzer compacts uh beautiful beautiful the packaging is tempting me um the lipsticks aren't really my shades at all so those are probably a pass the eyeshadow palette actually looks pretty like it has the lighter green shades and then it has it's almost like a quad of greens with a white and then the other quad is like warm tones. I've never tried anything from Best in May Cosmetics but I've always wanted to. I know they've been having crazy sales recently like buying like the $40 palettes for $10 and whatnot. But I just feel like there's... I'm trying to convince myself that just because something's on sale doesn't mean I should buy it. So I have not bought anything. Um, but this collection does look really, really beautiful. I'm actually pretty interested in the eyeshadow palette. So if you have tried Best in May eyeshadows, I would love to know your opinion on them. Um, if you thought that they were worth the price. And I really like the highlighter compact. That's, that's very tempting. So those are definitely a possible buy. Next is from Rising Phoenix Makeup. And this is the Greeks, Monsters, and Beasts collection. And you guys can kind of see on the screen, I try to put all the colors together, and I think this is pretty. All of the shades, for the most part, kind of look like they've got like two tones to them, or they look really, really beautiful. It's a collection of 12 shadows. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I could use a nap. So I think this is pretty. I haven't tried anything from Rising Phoenix Makeup. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything, but I do think it's beautiful. I like the different colors. I think it's a fun, fun mix. So if you guys have tried anything from them, I would love to know. I should probably do a little bit of research. I feel like there's step of like a list of things I want to try, but I just kind of keep telling myself like I need to take the time to watch some YouTube videos on them, but I've just been so busy and so tired and no time. So I just haven't had the chance, but I'm definitely going to look into them next. I'm excited. This is a little sneak peek from Makeup Slave, and they said, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but dot dot dot, and they showed this palette with a little Christmas tree on it. I think this looks super cute. I'm excited to see what they come out with. I really, really like their um, fall Equinox palette. Here, I have it right, right here. It's so tiny. It's such a tiny little baby palette, but it's so cute. Here's what it looks like. Um, these shadows are extremely soft, like so soft, tons of kick up. But they are really, really pigmented and smooth and easy to blend. So I really like these and I need to play with it more. Um, but I really like this and I thought that the color scheme was really thought out and really cool. So I that just makes me even more excited to see what they're going to do for Christmas. So the next release this week is the new Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette, which is already here with me because they ship really fast. Just looks like this. And I'm not going to go too much into my thoughts on the palette, obviously. I be wide it. I bought it. I bite it. <laughs> that was that was great English. Um, so I actually, by the time you're watching this video, should have a review up on my channel with this palette. So I'm gonna leave that in the cards right here and link down below in case you're interested. All right. So next is a palette from Kalon Cosmetics and is the Achilles palette. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but I actually think this is really beautiful. Like I love the tones in here. There's like a mix. Of like purples and like cool tones and this is one of the palettes that I definitely need to like see some reviews on or something or look, do a little bit of a little bit of research see if I can find some swatches or anything like that because I think this color scheme is actually super beautiful if you guys want to be enablers and tell me if you want to see a video on this palette or not definitely leave that down below so next little sneak peek I'm very excited about this this is from Alamar Cosmetics 
Um, they have been doing tiny, tiny little sneak peeks for their Reina del Caribe Volume 2. And I have the original. And I think it's really beautiful. And a few months ago, Gabby was talking about it. Gabby TMUA, she's the owner. And she said like that she was doing something that she didn't know. Like she thought it was a little bit trendy. Or not trendy yet. But she just had a feeling. She was hoping it would work out. And now she said like it was the best thing she ever did. And that she's very, very excited about it. So I'm really, really curious to see what the color scheme ends up being. I'm kind of really hoping for some greens. I don't know, I'm very, very, very curious. So, I feel like with the original palette, I was kind of like, I liked it and I wanted to support her, I wanted to buy it, but I waited because it was going to be in BoxyCharm, or well, I didn't know it was going to be in BoxyCharm yet. I waited, it was in BoxyCharm, so it worked out because I ordered BoxyCharm for that specific month. So this one, I don't know if it's going to be in BoxyCharm or not, but I feel like I fell in love with the formula, so it's something I would buy right away from her site. So next we have all of the shades revealed from the new Cine Grace um, Autumn Rain palette and I think this is pretty beautiful. It's kind of hard to, to decide how I feel 100% when like there's not like a, a picture of the palette all together like all the colors coordinated and everything that's kind of difficult to like see like do I really need this or not just looking at them like different shapes and different like angles and like it's just not like I'm not that visual. But from looking at it and looking at the swatches that they did, I feel like it is really beautiful. There's definitely a lot of neutral tones, but there's some pops. There's like the raspberry, the purple, the blues, the green. So I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking about purchasing this. So it's going to be all full size shadows, which is pretty good amount of product, and it's going to be fifty fifty two dollars or fifty three dollars. I can't remember, but I am excited about that, and I'm excited. I think like they have like so many singles and I've seen a few people mention this that they want to try Cindy Grace but they're overwhelmed by singles or they don't buy singles that often. So I'm excited that they're coming out with a palette and I really hope that it helps them get more hype because I think that their qualities, sorry, their shadows are really high quality and I think that they deserve more hype. So hopefully having a palette will kind of attract more people's attention for them. I really want to see them do well. Alright, so next is the new Misfit Co brains and beauty palette and I believe I'm not sure I think this is just for Halloween but I like it but I feel like I don't have like any like urge to buy it but I figured I would show it to you guys it's got like a mix like the first row is like the yellowy greens the second row is another green and some orange and ready shades and then the last row is like purple some more greens and a black so I like it but I'm not like feeling like I need to buy it Next, Dulce Outer Cosmetics came out with a Pretty in Pink collection, which is available now. And these look beautiful. There's five different shades, all different pink toned highlighters. I am a sucker for a pink toned highlighter, and I want to make a purchase. The only problem is I feel like they all look the same in the pan, and they did swatches, and they kind of all look the same. I feel like I need to see it in different lighting. I need to see the swatches, like, more, like, uh, I need to see more to decide which shades to get. I was kind of thinking of getting Breathe Pink because that looks like a really nice light one. Bad Barbie looks really pretty too. Champagne All Day. I'm not sure which ones I want to get. That's all I know. I just, I, I'm not sure. They all look beautiful. And I have like a list of like eight highlighters I want to buy from Dulce Dara, But I can't decide. I can't decide which pink one I need. So um, I've been like, they've been like slowly showing a few like on Instagram. They're already available, but they've just been showing like one at a time and I'm just like waiting so I can see all the comparisons and like the videos to decide which one I think I'm going to like the most because I feel like I don't need to buy five pink highlighters. I would love to buy pink highlighter, five pink highlighters, but I really don't need five pink highlighters. So I think these are beautiful and I definitely plan on purchasing one. Okay, so next we have a little sneak peek from Love Lux Beauty. They are coming out with a new palette. And you guys can see the picture in black and white. And I was like, oh, really interested. The reason I was really interested is because they have some pictures on um, Instagram from forever ago. They did a poll and they had two palettes and asked which one you wanted to see. I'll put it on screen. The top one, like, I want the top one so bad. I was so excited about it. So I was like, hmm, is it going to be one of these palettes? Because these are really beautiful. But actually, Angelica, last week, Angelica Nikis, she had the actual picture of the palette, like, um 
like a digital version and I was like, girl, how'd you get that? And she talked about how there was a indie Facebook brand, Facebook page where she, that she's on that she found the picture. And so she was kind enough to send me the page so that I could add or be added. So I will post the really like full picture on there so you guys can see it with better quality. Um, I think the palette is really beautiful. Lots of deep tones, very, I don't know. I think it looks really nice. It looks fun. I think I'm probably going to end up picking it up. I don't. I don't think I have any love looks. No, I have some single shadows from her, and I like them. Um, they're metallic ones. I haven't tried any mattes yet, but I think I am going to end up picking that up whenever it comes out, but I'm not really sure of the release date. One last indie thing to talk about, and this one's pretty interesting. I'm going to let you guys do your own research, but research, but I thought I would mention it really quickly. Mater Makeup Labs is coming out with a palette or a collection, and it's the Krampus Knot Collection. Okay, so first of all, Mater Makeup Labs. I'm very excited to try them. I actually did an order and got 15 shadows and a palette and everything so I could try a bunch of shades out because they look absolutely beautiful in their swatches. Like, I cannot wait to receive them. But they have this collection. Krampus Knocked, I never knew what that was. And I did a little Google search and it's a little bit creepy. I think it's a, she said it was a movie or something. I don't really know. I don't watch scary movies. So it's definitely a unique theme, which I kind of like. I like when people do things that are different and unique. And all the different shades are really, really cute. They have a snow globe highlighter that's coming. So I'm excited to see what the actual colors are going to be. All right, so now we have like only four mainstream things to talk about. First off, Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with the extended palettes. Actually, I think they're available now. And I think these look pretty. The extended burgundy palette, I think I would like that if I didn't already own the original burgundy palette. But I don't feel the need to buy either of these, but I think they're... Well, I like the burgundy one. Next, something I'm very, 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 very excited about. Stila Cosmetics is coming out with a new product. And they're going to be new Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. And you guys can see the packaging. They all look like white shades, but the actual colors on the things are different. Like there's a green, a gold, um a bronze, a burgundy, a purple, a like different kind of bronze. So if these are all like duochrome shades, I better start saving up. Like there's no way I'm going to be able to say no because I live for glittery inner corner duochrome shades. I have several from them that I already love and use. So I'm very, very excited about that collection. Like so excited. Next, actually, this might be considered an indie brand. Be Perfect Cosmetics is doing a collaboration with Mitchell. And I was excited about this. Um, and I was curious about it. And there are seven shades in here. They had it available for pre-order before ever showing the palette, which I think is so stupid. Like, I hate the idea of having to pre-order something and you don't even know what's inside. You just have to, like, go with it. I feel like it's just kind of one of those things, like, just, like, an easy way to make money when, like, the palette's not ready or I don't even know. So these look beautiful, they look blinding, but I would only be able to use like three of the seven shades. This might be amazing if you're a makeup artist, um, if you have a medium skin tone, and you can kind of play with some of the deeper tones and the lighter tones to make most things work, it might be great for you. But for someone with a light skin tone, I don't want to buy a palette that I would only be able to use a portion of the pro product. So I wish that they had, I think it would have been cool if they came out with a light version with the first four shades. And then a dark version with like the last four shades and had the one shade overlapping if they had to do that. That way everyone could just choose one little palette that will work best for them rather than buying something with excessive product that you can't use. So that's just my two cents on it. going to pass. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention really quickly the Natasha Nenona Cranberry Palette. This was one thing I told you guys I really wanted to buy. I have the, um, the Holiday Palettes from Natasha Nenona last year and I really like the formula in these. But Natasha Nona is crazy and she changes her formula every two seconds. And I actually went in store. I could have had I could have purchased this. I actually had a gift card. I had everything I needed to buy this without any money. And um I swatched it and I was disappointed. There's the matte shades are not pigmented. The shimmer shades are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but the two matte shades in there are not pigmented. I want to know how many swipes in the pan she had to do to get the the um sh the swatches on her arm in this picture. Like it's ridiculous they are not pigmented at all and it's like why would I buy a $50 palette with two duds like why <sighs> it's annoying because I really like the color scheme but the quality is just not the same 
and I don't understand why she keeps changing it. Like I tried the Tropic palette they had in store and some of the mattes were so pigmented it was out of this world, but the shimmery shades literally felt like so hard. They felt like, you know that play makeup that people make for babies where it's like makeup that's not real and it's fake and you can't actually get any product up? That's what her shimmer shadows felt like because it was like touching like nothing was coming up, nothing was there. Like it was crazy. Like why, why can't she just be consistent? Like when you have something so good, like such a good thing, why would you want to change it? I don't understand. Okay, wait, I have to add one more thing really quickly. Um, Amber Scholl, I am obsessed with this girl. I feel like she has like a heart of gold. She came out with a new collection and it's with Shop Hush. And she has her own makeup line under the Shop Hush, like, I don't know how, how to even describe it. But I'll leave pictures on screen, I don't even have them screenshot on my phone yet. Of the palette and there's a highlighter palette and some lip glosses and this collection is like a complete pass for me as far as my makeup preference and I know I told myself I was gonna be better about not buying things because I like people but seriously I love Amber so so much it's ridiculous like her videos like I feel like she is just such a like genuine spirit and she's so positive and like her story is so cool how she went from literally nothing to everything through YouTube and Man, you know when sometimes when people like cry about YouTube and you're like, oh, okay, like whatever. But when she cries, I literally cry. Like I just, I love her. So do I need a palette full of golds? Do I need a highlighter palette I probably can't wear? Do I need some glittery, well the glittery lip glosses are probably something I do need. Need being used very, very freely. Um, so this is... I might buy it. I might buy it. I'm just so happy for her. I love her and I know I don't need it, but it's, I know it's going to be super affordable. So that's why it's like, it's okay that I'm kind of like being unrealistic with myself and my personal preference. So I just had to throw that in there really quickly that I am super, super excited for her, super happy um, for her to have a collab. It's kind of funny because she if you watch her do her makeup she's she's kind of hilarious and she's kind of like just doing whatever I can like I don't really know what I'm doing so it's kind of funny for her to come out with a makeup line but I don't have any complaints I think it's cool I actually did it the um, whenever the like following makeup tutorial trend was going around I did following an Amber Schultz tutorial and I felt really really good whenever I followed her tutorials so I'm excited about it and I think I'm probably gonna end up buying it so just had to throw that in there we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming so that is everything, let me just go to the middle, that is everything for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.